So from my perspective, what is really exciting about additive manufacturing are not necessarily all the amazing engineering challenges that have been overcome and not just being on display here at Formnext, but the, the opportunities that exist beyond those engineering challenges. So the opportunities, for example, um, to absolutely automate or um, fully automate the design to production process, that end-to-end -end vision to have an idea and come out with a fully additively manufactured component at the end of it. That for me is the vision. It, it's interesting to see new materials come to market and new machines to process those materials at higher speeds perhaps and more reliable. So those engineering challenges are really good to overcome, but really the biggest hurdle that I see is to close the loop of getting from an idea to a final part in one fell swoop, in one uh, process. I think the next big in AM will be really going for the production of mass production, serious production, really see how a lot of parts will be really used and user focused and see how they really get into action and not just having how maybe nowadays hide them somewhere, some test parts, but really go for, yes, this added manufacturing, this is a proper mature manufacturing technology that we can use for our daily production. I think the next big thing in additive manufacturing is once uh, industrial companies, for example, producing machinery, really start to understand and onboard the knowledge on additive manufacturing and have it into their engineering uh, departments. So that they do not only consider CNC milling or injection molding, but they take 3D printing as an industrial way of manufacturing into account as well to solve a certain technical problem. Uh, I think the, the, the next big thing is actually really what we, we mentioned earlier is the industrialization of the process so that there is a more widely uh, wider uh, adoption of the process by the industry. Today, you know, no matter how big the hype is about additive manufacturing, it's still used only by a few industries like aerospace, space and defense, and of course medical. So the next big thing is that it's going to be democratized, I think, and be used by other industries. And for that, we need what we, we mentioned before, we need automation and industrialization of the process. Additive industry is by itself already a very highly digitalized uh, field of industry, but the nicest and biggest things to come in future will be AI-driven automated processes which hopefully reduce the effort, the expert effort in data preparation and geometry definition for production. The, the most important part of the additive manufacturing industry and, and the next big real things, the, the, the short term things are all going to be into higher throughput uh, polymer production and higher throughput metal production. They're talking a lot of talk about binder jetting, but also about streamlining the, the metal powder bed fusion. So these are the real and most important uh, uh, and the next important things are going to be in these areas. But the most fascinating and uh, interesting and innovative things, and these are becoming real businesses also is bioprinting and and also uh, house construction printing this is something that is really nobody thought it, it would be this fast but it's really started to starting to pick up so the real the big market is of course in the polymer production and the metal production but the most inno innovative and uh, curious is uh, house and uh, bioprinting uh, so not organs, but tissues, you know, real uh, tissues, uh, human tissues, and uh, also in the house business is a very fascinating innovation. So which trend is the one which is most successful in the future? I think that's still very difficult to find out. Yeah? But uh, I think from the first years when it was very experimental, the big next step is that uh, additive more and more gets industrial and uh, will be considered really as a fabrication technology and uh, brings us a lot of progress in uh, a lot of products. Uh, so products that only can be uh, generated by using this technology. I think the more integrated we get into customers' workflows, the more successful we can be. We all, everyone here at the show makes wonderful technology that's solving new and innovative problems. But bringing that to our customers, if we look at how much the AM industry is compared to how much the manufacturing industry is, the more we can help solve critical point of need, critical 
end use parts and critical production manufacturing process problems, the more we can give people, you know, um, not just a material, not just a machine, but a solution, something that allows them to design a part, something that allows them to take that part, put it into production, in our case, automatically inspect that part using our blacksmith technology so they can create very high resolution inspection reports. They can also use our AI technology to continuously improve their parts and have that confidence. That's gonna help them take this really cool AM technology and put it into a place where it can solve just bigger bigger picture manufacturing problems and supply chain problems. So I see the innovation is taking all of these solutions and streamlining the workflow so it's easier for people to adopt that haven't adopted yet as we go through this adoption curve and mature as an industry. Regarding the innovation in the additive manufacturing, I think uh, it's going to be around the manufacturing, you know, about the production. Uh, you know, the, the additive manufacturing used to be called 3D printing and was really around prototyping. But I think we see now a shift to the industry to real volume production. And end-to-end -end solution, including post-processing design, is really critical for uh, customers now. They are looking for a solution which is, can be used for prototyping, tooling, and final part at the same time. We have, I think, now solutions like our Origin P3 and our SAF H350 printers, which can deliver such solution. But also in more demanding applications like aerospace, a traditional FDM system, uh, like our forces system, deliver high level of repeatability and accuracy. And customers now need proof point. They need data behind the printer. They want to know what is your CPK, you know, what is a typical term used in manufacturing in terms of how my, uh, my uh, manufacturing process is performing. And this is really something which we can provide as an organization. We have done tons of measurement and data analysis. And I think that sets strategies apart from other companies when it comes to repeatability and accuracy. Um, customers are no longer looking for uh, a, a prototyping solution or one-off job. They are looking for repeated process with parts which are similar and within their tolerances. And that's really important.